All right, so here we are back in the garage and spring is approaching, so we have a few other projects. Now, the number one thing I wanted to address this year um, was changing that uh, rear gear in there. So I've got the four tins in there, obviously for a turbo, it's not very friendly. Uh, I'm gonna swap the uh, 327 that used to be in the car back into there, change the tune for it. Now, obviously when I go to do that, I'm gonna be putting in all brand new seals, which Ford factory replacement parts, and then uh, new bearings in there as well, especially on the axle ends for the uh, axles itself, or themselves, sorry. But another thing I wanted to address was, um, you know, when I built this uh, T45, I basically took two broken transmissions, not really knowing the condition of like synchros and stuff like that, and put them together to make one working transmission. Yes, it does work, um, but it does have the traditional um, lock-in reverse kind of issue. Um, sometimes it does not even want to go into fifth gear because it'll just grind into it. You have to rev match it. So I know the synchros are shot there, but also that third gear grind you heard in one of my other videos. And you can definitely hear that grind in that video, and that was that's terrible. But we're going to fix that because we got with Synchro Tech to get some brand new Synchros. Now these Synchros, actually, I checked them out uh, between Tremec and these. I've read a lot of great reviews on these. I mean, obviously, every company has their negatives, but I've I've read a lot better stuff. You know, a lot uh, of reviews that were better than uh, negative. So I figured I'd give them a shot, especially for the price. These are nice. Now, what's nice about them also is these are carbon fiber. So these are the upgraded uh, synchros that come for like the 99, um, 2000, I believe, and 01 earlier. Yeah, early 01 T45s before they went to the 3650. Now, I still had some spare parts from that other T45. So what I figured I would do is while the one is still working in the car, I would go ahead and build the other main shaft and replace any parts especially that bad second gear that we had, if you guys remember that. As you can see, there's the tooth on it missing. With the sources of the good old eBay, I found an actual brand new in the box factory second gear for this car. And she looks pretty, really nice. So of course, along with the synchros, um, I went ahead and went with some uh, bronze or brass bronze, um, slider uh, bushings for the uh, shifter forks themselves. So you can see these right here. I think these were like a $50 upgrade. I figured, you know what, why not? And then the further I dug down into uh, the history of the T45, something else I learned, the T45 itself actually had two different versions of the bell housing where the um, throwout bearing tube was molded into part of it for the latter T45s and were not serviceable or replaceable from what I understand. So the 96 to 97 or 96 to 98 T45s did. What was nice is that spare transmission I had was actually a 96 model. So I went ahead and pressed the old throwout bearing tube in and I got this billet piece. Now here is the actual billet um, press in throwout bearing sleeve for it to uh, ride on there. And actually it's a very nice piece. It came from AMP. So uh, I'm actually pretty eager to go ahead and press this in the other bell housing. What I'm gonna do is basically rebuild this main shaft, put these new synchros in, new bearings, and press this into the other um, bell housing. So that way, when I go to pull this transmission out, when I am ready to pull it, I can just swap the internal guts and stuff and onto the other bell housing, and it'd be completely, basically a new unit. One thing I am going to address though, is I may go ahead and get the billet shift forks as well. That just may be something that um, is an upgrade for further down the road, but I wanna see the condition of the forks when I do take them out. I mean, they did look pretty good, but it might be something I do later down the road as well, because if the forks give away, that might be a good time to go ahead and upgrade the input shaft to a 26 spline as well to make the transmission more of a bulletproof-ish upgrade. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and swap that 327 gear in there, change the tune. Um, I did load a more aggressive tune in there that I did, I had my old NA tune. I've been running the car on the nitrous tune. And when I started going over the tune itself, I realized the timing maps themselves were all completely stock timing. Even for these um, upgraded cams and everything in there, it was all completely stock timing except for the 6,000 RPM range and up only in the top few cells that the timing was, you know, um, actually retarded about five or six degrees. So 
it was really basically running like a stock car. So I took it out with my draggy and it literally ran under boost almost the same exact time as it did NA with the more aggressive NA tune, um, except for I had obviously more mile per hour in there. So I threw the more aggressive tune in there and then I went ahead and scaled back two degrees, one and a half to two degrees per pound of boost, which right now anywhere from six to eight, depending on the load. So I'm hoping that I get more of a true reading with the 327s in there and I can adjust the math transfer tables and stuff from that point on. And then I can listen for knock and go over the whole tune issue. But I really think that's where I'm going to pick up a lot of mile per hour and a lot of power out of this thing. Now, this is just a mess, but you can actually see I've got this main shaft right here tore apart. There's the input. There's all the gears, the way they're set up and everything, the actual new keys. I might even go ahead and do billet uh, synchro keys in there. Not sure. There is the old tube, and that's where it presses into the dispel housing right there. So now, that's where we're at so far with this guy. As soon as this weather breaks, we're going to get tearing into it. I'm not laying on this ground with it being this cold. That's too chilly for me. I'm a tropical person. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button as well. That way you guys can check the later videos. See ya.